This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR and IISC. For more information, visit Chinta.com. Let's do a fun problem from NMTC 2019. Suppose we have an expression like this, f of n equals to n to the power 4 minus 3n square plus 9. We want to know when is this a prime number. This f of n is a prime number. So for what values of n is f of n a prime? So I'm reminded of uh, quite a few things when I see fourth powers and those things will have no relation with this particular problem but I will share them with you anyway because they can be useful in other problems but before we do that let's look at one example okay so um, let's plug in n equals to 1 so f of 1 is 1 to the power 4 minus 3 times 1 square plus 9 that's equal to 7 so yes it is a prime number for n equals to 1 f of 1 is a prime f of 1 is prime similarly we can check for n equals to 2 f of 2 is equals to 2 to the power 4 minus 3 times 2 square plus 9 that's 16 minus 12 plus 9 that's 13 so yes f2 is prime as well there is another backstory of this problem it actually dates back to a very ancient classical mathematical challenge classical challenge and that is of a prime number creator a prime formula today we know that there is no such formula but ancient mathematicians wanted to create a formula that can only give out prime numbers like a polynomial formula like this many people tried many things and there is actually a proof that there is no such polynomial let's say with integer coefficients to keep things simple there is no such polynomial which spits out only prime numbers when you plug in natural numbers but when I this is probably one of the easy candidates which works for n equals to 1, n equals to 2. So it's kind of fun in that way, if you know the historical context. Now, I promised you that I will give you a different fourth power, which is more interesting in this context. It's called the Sophie Germain identity. The Sophie Germain identity. It's like this, a to the power 4 plus 4b to the power 4. Can you factorize this? If you can, put it in the comment section. 
try to factorize this and using that can you show that n to the power 4 plus 4 to the power n is not prime for n equals to 1 and it's n greater than 1 I'm sorry n greater than 1 so this is also a challenge you can put it in the comment section okay so now coming back to the problem that we have we want to check for what values of n f of n is a prime number one way to see it is to try and factorize this thing if we can factor this thing into two parts product of two expressions then as long as these are not prime numbers or as long as these are not ones as long as these are not ones these two factors are not ones this particular expression cannot be a prime because then we have broken it down into two factors and prime numbers can only be broken down into two factors if one of them is one and the other one is a prime itself right so that's our strategy our strategy and this is something that works for many problems in number theory try to factorize it that's why factorization problems are so important they can decide whether a certain expression is a prime number or not so now this becomes a very easy problem i'll give you a hint what you do is you write this as n to the power 4 plus 6n square plus 9 and then subtract a 9n square so the 6n square and 9n square if you subtract you get negative 3n square exactly what you had earlier so i'm just readjusting it okay and so this one is n square plus 3 whole square this is minus 3n whole square so i will let you complete the problem can you find the final factorization final factorization put it in the comment and then check when these factors are one uh, product can be a prime number now relate that with the two solutions that we got for n equals to 1 and n equals to 2 we got these two prime numbers and then can you tell me for n greater than 2 will fn ever be a prime number so put that in the comment section and let me know your own ideas of solving this sort of problems keep on doing good mathematics i will see you in the next one